Welcome to the presentation on intra-body internet of implantables and wearables using galvanic coupling. Presented by Meenu Swaminathan, a PhD candidate. Advised by Professor Kaushik Chowdhury, College of Engineering, Northeastern University. Body health monitoring sensors and controlling actuators are common today. These body sensors and actuators promise to revolutionize the future healthcare and to dramatically bring down the healthcare cost through remote monitoring and proactive diagnosis ability. The body devices are distributed throughout the body, either on the body surface or implanted deep inside the tissues, such as eye pressure implants, cardiac implants, cognitive and neural implants, bone and muscular implants, abdominal stimulation implants, and many more. In spite of the tremendous advancement in the sensor technology, a way to enable these implants to safely communicate through the tissues does not exist. Usually, the sensor data is transferred to a smartphone and then shared with the healthcare facility for analysis. The future treatment options are then planned and conveyed to the patients. This is a cycle too long for emergency situations. Our objective is to bring the whole loop inside the body as a closed loop for autonomous regulation using the interconnected network of implants. An ideal implant communication technology should eliminate wires and should safely transfer the signals through the tissues, allowing the patients to engage in normal routines. A solution is possible if we could safely transfer the signals through live tissues. That is why we adopt galvanic coupling that uses low frequency signals in the kilohertz range instead of the high frequency microwave signals. This safe, energy efficient and convenient technology faces many challenges that are addressed in this research. Initially, we built four different tissue equivalent models to understand the electrical and electromagnetic behavior of human tissues. Our circuit model uses the conductivity and charge holding ability of the human cells to model the three-dimensional tissue comprising skin, fat, muscle and bone. This model is sensitive for 10 different parameters that can be individually studied and quantized. Our two-port network-based model adapts to different body parts by permitting the rearrangement of tissues and implant positions. The tissue models built using the finite element methods illustrate the electromagnetic field distribution at various sensor and receiver positions. Next, as a critical step, we derive the suitable transmission conditions that ensure tissue safety. For electrical safety, we use the electrode tissue boundary conditions based on the Maxwell's equation. For thermal safety, we use the partial differential equation based and empirically evaluated thermal distributions. We witness that the maximum rise in tissue temperature due to signal propagation is very minimal compared to the heat generated from radio frequency signals. The complex human tissue channel medium imposes unique networking challenges demanding highly innovative solutions. For instance, the channel between two nodes is entirely different in the to and from directions, leading to asymmetric qualities. The implants are not easily accessible, requiring energy-efficient protocols that also obey tissue safety. With all these challenges, we start with identifying the energy-efficient node positions that also attempt to resolve the bandwidth demands. We frame the optimization problem that minimizes the links from implant to signal pickup points. These signal pickup points then transfer the information to the healthcare access points. The optimization algorithm considers node position, tissue path that propagates signals, traffic volume requested, safety constraints, and the depth of implantation. The optimized position offers high energy efficiency, extending and also balancing the implanted node life. As the next step in this project, the tissue equivalent channel models and the optimal node positions that we derived earlier are used towards building intra-body specific networking protocols. Our architecture has the on-surface and implanted nodes that are connected to the relays or signal pickup points. The relays then transfer the aggregated sensor data to an on-surface controller. The controller then wirelessly communicates with an access point or smartphone for updating the data in a database. These nodes and connectors form the intra-body network. Each body node is enabled with the galvanic coupling specific protocol stack comprising physical, MAC and application layers. 
The controller in addition to galvanic coupling stack has the radio frequency protocol stack for external communication. Then we build a test bed with human tissue phantom and Arduino demonstrating the reliable and safe communication between an on-skin node and an implant. On the transmitter side we use a thermal and motion sensor whose readings are transferred to the tissue phantom. The signal injected to the tissue is recovered by a pair of electrodes and processed by a node that directs the operation of servo motor implanted in the muscle resembling a drug delivery actuator. That brings us to the end of the presentation. We believe this research bridges the gap between the sensor technology and the communication technology, enabling the evolution of more powerful and life-saving applications. Thanks for watching.